Hi guys. Just kind of keeping track of Hurricane Florence here and um, just felt like that was the opener that I was supposed to start with today. Um, I had a dream about um, the hurricane coming to the East Coast beaches last night and just such a beautiful community, um, just pretty scenery and trees and water and just great people. And uh, so my heart just went out for them. It just, you know, my dream was basically of places they like to hang out and um, it was just really pretty. And then um, they had some candles on one of the porches and they were battery operated. And I thought, that's a great idea. Um, in case power goes out in some of the more inland areas where people haven't evacuated besides flashlights or regular candles or whatever to have just some pretty battery operated candles. Um, so I thought that was kind of neat. And then there was an old washed up lamp um, that came up on the beach and it just reminded me that we need to stay plugged in um, and keep our lamps burning, keep our light burning brightly um, for others to see our love and um, the truth. And um, so anyways, I know there's been a lot of fear building up to the storm. Um, in the clouds, it was just kind of red, and I know the red is kind of the center of the storm that looks really bad. And um, so I know there's a lot of fear just from the buildup and stuff. Um, but I just want to say that uh, Jesus is the rock. Even in a storm, Jesus is the one to call out to. He is the Savior. He is the rock. He is the steady ground. He is the one who delivers from fear and anxiety and doubt and gives hope and courage. Um, I did <clears throat> um, have part of the dream where we were staying at a hotel and we just realized we needed to get out quickly. So it is good just to get out quickly, um, to have plenty of food for everyone to share um, you know, you never know. There could be fires from down power lines or whatever it might be. So it is important to get out quickly. Um, and I just believe these storms are birth pangs that we are seeing um, as we lead up to the return of Christ. Um, there's military drills going on. Uh, there's so many things going on. And I heard in my spirit, uh, 90 Minutes in Heaven, that's a, a book that's really good about heaven. Um, but then in my spirit, I also heard Nine Months in Heaven. And that's just the term for a baby to be born. So we are really seeing the birth pangs um, before Jesus Christ returns to take us to heaven. And I know that might sound silly to some people, just like the cross is foolishness to some people. I heard in my sleep last night the tale of two crosses, and I know a lot of you know the tale of the three crosses, just giving them themselves to serve the Lord. But when I heard the two crosses, of course, there's the traditional interpretation of one cross represents the person who believed in Jesus and the other cross represents the people who don't believe in Jesus. And of course, Jesus is the cross in the middle. Um, or you could think of it as the two crosses of Jesus and his brother in Christ who believed in him next to him. Um, but there was another meaning in my dream that we are supposed to kneel coming and going. So we kneel before the cross humbly and admit we need a savior because we are sinners and there's no other way to live in a holy heaven with a holy God. So we kneel coming to the cross and we kneel as we go out into the world, um, being humble before him. So the cross is not foolishness to those of us who are being saved by God's grace. And 
just making these videos. Um, you know, there's a lot of silly shows and the silly videos going on. And, you know, laughter is good medicine for the soul. But it's really an honor. Um, I dreamt I was officiating a wedding. And it was just an honor to be able to make videos about the wedding feast of the lamb. And um, in Revelation, we read about, um, let me find it here, Revelation 19 verses, um, I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> Da, 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 da. After this, I heard what sounded like the great roar of a great multitude in heaven shouting, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. And then, Hallelujah, our Lord God Almighty, the wedding of the Lamb has come and the bride has made herself ready, the wedding supper. These are the true words. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So, um, you know, a lot of people, when they preach and lecture, they're too rough on people. Um, you know, they might have had a harsh bringing up, and their parents maybe weren't gracious and merciful. And so that's their view of the Father. And... Um, so I think we just need to be careful to speak with gentleness and comfort to the wounded body of Christ. Um, the wounded need to be served, not commanded to serve more. So let's be gentle and, and show God's gentleness and his comfort and his love to the body of Christ rather than preaching and lecturing to the wounded who themselves need to be ministered to. Because God loves you guys. Amen.